Build a Business, Not a Job by David Finkel. Now, this book will teach you how to build a business that is independent of you, that will work without you, that can grow beyond your own personal contribution, that can be sold for high multiples of your revenue or earnings, depending on the style of the business, depending on the type of the business. So <clears throat> the author, David Finkel, talks about three levels of business, level one, level two, and level three. Level one is a startup with no control and no freedom for the business owner. Level two is where it becomes, the business becomes an owner-reliant company. The company is making sales, it's possibly profitable, but the owner has control, but no freedom. And level three is where the company is independent of the owner. There is a lot of, there's total control of the business and there's also total freedom. So how do you go from level one business to level three business? That's what David talks about in this book, Build a Business, Not a Job. The key here is to understand is that you want to build a level three business because only when you build a level three business do you have control over your financial future. That's when you massively increase your net worth because you have a different multiple to operate with. You are The business is much easier to scale because it's not just dependent on you and you get freedom from the business. You see, the level three business is much more stable. It has greater impact on the market because it's not just you creating value, it's other people creating value, value, systems and processes creating value. So you have to figure out if you want to have all of these benefits. And if you do, then you want to build a level three business and not just stuck, be stuck with a level one, level two business where you are the whole and soul of the business in some ways. Okay, so now let's talk about the three levels of business and where your business might be. So the level one is the startup, as we talked about, no control, no freedom, you launch your business, you're still trying to validate your idea, you're still trying to get to product market fit, you're trying to get feedback from the market to know if your business concept and model will work. Level two is where the business becomes a owner-reliant company. You have a lot of control, but you have no freedom. You have a profitable business that works, but you have to put in long hours. You have, maybe you have people to help you, but they don't take leadership or ownership. They are just helpers in some ways. And there's a sense that all the decisions, all the risks, all the responsibility just rests on your shoulders. Now we're gonna dig deep into level two because there are three stages of level two that a business must advance through to make to level three, which is the owner independent company. The early stage level two, early stage level two is where you're trying to make the business sustainable. Here you're focused on selling, 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 selling. You're, you're securing clients, you're making the business profitable, you're not trying to build the perfect product, you're just selling, 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 selling. Your number one priority in early stage two is to make the business sell and sell more and sell more. So you have to focus on sales and marketing efforts. You have to focus on generating sales reliability. You have to develop a marketing system that works consistently for, for you. And you have to aggressively focus on getting to profitability. The business might not be profitable yet, so you have to sell, 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 sell. The most important priority in early stage two. The other priority in early stages Early stage two is to create simple systems and structures for your business. So you are spending time between generating sales and building and improving your systems, the most basic systems. And wherever you are, you start where you are. A lot of the mis a lot of uh, entrepreneurs make the mistake of thinking that they will wait when there's perfect time to create systems. There's never such a perfect time. You just start, you create systems, and then you iterate and you improve on them. The third priority in early stage two is to build a team. As soon as you can afford it, as soon as you turn profitable, you build a team. You hire, you give them existing systems, you try to refine them, you try to improve, get them to improve the systems. And the key here is to not hire all at once, but start hiring step by step by step. So three priorities in early stage two business. First of which is to sell, sell, and sell. The second is to create some simple systems and structures for your business to continue to grow profitably. And when the business can afford, hire. Okay, middle stage two is when you establish structure while still increasing sales. The focus here is to build your core systems, your structures, your foundation, while still increasing your sales and improve and also imposing order in the meanwhile. You see, the key here 
is to leverage 20% of your time on building the core, on building your core, core systems and structures and foundations. Here in middle stage two, the business is still reliant on you, the owner, um, and the business is stuck because the business is built for your personal control over the business. The business is dependent on your personal production, on the entrepreneur's personal production. So you have to build rough systems for your core functions like your lead generation, your lead conversion, your production, your delivery, your collections, all of those. You have to start building bare, bare bones rough systems to get yourself, get leverage from the people you are hiring, whatever it is. Build core systems, build rough systems for your core functions. Now, at advanced stage two, so if you enjoyed this idea and you want to get access to 300 such great ideas on entrepreneurship, well, then you will probably enjoy my entrepreneurship book summary pack where I have summarized 50 of the greatest books on building a great business, books on strategy, on innovation, on systems, on execution, on teams, on scaling your business, on building billion dollar businesses, on lifestyle entrepreneurship, on entrepreneurial mindset, on social entrepreneurship, basically books in every realm possible in order to build a great business. Now, because it is launch time, you can get a great discount on this course. Just head on over to 2000books.com slash startup and enter the promo code YouTube before the end of February 1 Saturday. Enter the promo code YouTube to get a pretty sweet discount on this course.